I think we need to reframe. I think that at this time with climate change and all of these issues, uh, urban health becomes a very important. I think that if urban health was the umbrella for everything that we did at cities, and when I'm talking about urban health, I'm talking about three big pillars. One is the social, one is nature, and one is the built environment. So that, for example, we say, oh, nature, let's have trees all over the city. But then social says, oh, yeah, but let's have tree equity. Why is it that the wealthiers have a lot of trees and the poor do not? So you have nature, but then you have social, and then you have the built environment. Oh, hey, how are we going to build it? How are we going to incorporate? So it's social, nature, and built environment interrelating to each other. So if we evaluate it, every project that comes to the city on how well it meets the urban health goals around these three pillars, I think we could do cities that would be much better. Uh, and we could improve the cities that we have now, which I'm very opt optimistic also because cities in the U.S. or Canada or Australia that have been built poorly with lower densities and not enough parks, they are getting people, the population is going to continue to grow for another 30 or 40 years, and then it's going to level off. What if all of that population, they came and put a law and say, all the new housing has to be in the existing footprint, nothing outside? then we have the possibility to densify. So now we're talking about all of these issues. 20 years ago, we were, might not even be talking. Now everybody's talking. And all of the mayors, oh, I want a one-minute city, I want a 20-minute city, I want this, I want... They're talking, but they're not doing. So right now, I think that a, a major role of urban health uh, is how to help people put the ball across the line, how to score those goals. And part of this, I think, is if we work together. We need public health at the table. And if, if they don't invite them to the table, you know, bring a folding chair and put it right there. Or get your own table and invite the others. But we need transportation and planning uh, and urban health and, and, and uh, anthropology. We need everybody working together on how to create cities. I mean, and also, I think that we should come to agreements on the what. I find it totally absurd that so in some cities, saving lives oh, is the left party. It's the Democrats, they want to have safe, they want to have vision zero. Oh, the Republicans, they want to have, they want to kill everybody. No, 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 no. Everybody should be caring. So they what? There should be an agreement that no one should die on traffic incidents, whether they are walking or cycling or in public transit or in cars. No one should be dying. Left and right, all the political parties, we should, on the, on, on the what? All the political parties should agree that we need to be physically active. 30 minutes a day, five or more days a week. So on the what? Maybe on the how there are differences. Maybe the parties from the left, they want to have more unionized workers running the parks. Maybe the people on the right, they want to outsource the management of the park. But that is the how. But I think that it's important also that we come to an agreement on what makes a city healthier, where people are going to live better regardless of the age or their ability or their background. I mean, we, we need to give everybody that possibility. We cannot accept that someone is not going to be able to be healthy or happier because maybe their parents didn't have money and uh, they, they couldn't give them the nutrition or maybe he or she doesn't even know who their parents are. Regardless of that background that that child had, we cannot say, oh, the next 60 years we're going to have a rotten life because of this.